All right, so this video I'm going to try to uh, show how the hill ascent control and hill descent control works in the uh, 2000 8.5 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This may not apply to some of the earlier models, I'm not exactly sure. So one thing I was surprised to find out is that if you park on a hill, it'll actually hold the brakes uh, briefly while you uh, before you put your foot on the gas. So this vehicle has a brake controller, you can see there's a light there. I don't know if I can get the ground and everything in one shot, probably not. But basically, I'm going to take my foot off the brake and it holds it for about three seconds before you roll away. So you have that length of time to get off of the brake and hit the gas and go forward without rolling down the hill. So that's pretty neat. I didn't know that was available until uh, just kind of looking in the manual trying to figure out how the hill descent works. So the hill descent works uh, by controlling your speed in different gears, but you have to be in four low to do that, and that's this button here. So I'm just gonna go to the top of the hill here and uh, turn around, and put it into four low. Just have to wait a minute for some traffic to go by. So actually, this is like an overpass where it goes over a railway track. I just want to get this in one shot, so sorry if it's going to take a second here and wait for the traffic. All right, so we'll do this in uh, four high right now. And we'll just uh, see how fast we get to the by the bottom of the hill so we don't so just so we know kind of what we're looking at. So I just stopped shifted, so we're doing like 20 kilometers an hour now. I don't really want to go in there. I don't have anybody to pull me out. So this is a diesel and it has the NAG1 transmission in it and it it's almost like driving a standard like you obviously don't have to shift in it but it really holds uh, your speed quite well when you're going down a hill. Seems to be fairly well thought out. Let's go wait for another vehicle to go by and then we'll put it in the four low. Give us another shot. Roughly starting in the same spot. So to put it into uh, hill descent, you'll have to put the transfer case into four low. So you put it in neutral, you flip up this tab. It turns off the stability. We're in four low. And now we're gonna push this button here and it says a uh, hill descent control on it. I'm gonna put it in gear now and we're just gonna let it roll. So like I said, we were a bit over 20 kilometers last time. And it's uh, it's holding that speed, it's not going to upshift. If I want to go faster, you have to paddle shift. I probably would have Okay, so in order to change gears, I would have had to paddle shift down into one and then go up through them. So I, I goofed that up. If you're in regular drive and try to paddle shift, well now it knows I'm trying to keep it in a certain gear and it's just trying to play along. All right, so now I'm in drive. It remembers I'm in drive. Again, that's that's pretty neat. But you have to go down 
and then shift up if you want to get put into second gear. So now I'm just going to put this into neutral and uh, you can turn off the hill descent and then shift it into four high. everything is back to normal. So the hill ascent is supposed to work when you're going uphill in reverse as well. So we'll just try that for fun. So I'm just going to take my foot off the brake. And it started to roll pretty quick. Alright, that's better. I just hadn't pushed the brake hard enough. So, that's, uh, that all works pretty good. I'm going to see if a hill ascent works when you're in four low as well. So I'm just going to put it in neutral. Put it in four low again. If you haven't used four low in a long time, the motor can struggle doing that. So now we're in reverse. And yeah, it's definitely holding us. Like I could hear the brake disengaging. So I got the brake on right now. I'm in reverse. Yeah, so that works pretty good. So uh, there's uh, lots of neat little features in this vehicle here. For being like a consumer vehicle, a lot of like uh, richer people buy these things initially, but it's got quite a bit for off-roading capabilities. So I just wanted to show you that somebody asked me to uh, take a look at these features. So uh, thank you for watching.